Shabbat Shalom. It was early a.m. today as my son comes running into my room saying, Abba, did you see? It's sunny. It's sunny today. It's so exciting. I was thinking, wow, it is actually sunny today. After two weeks of snow and cloudiness, things that I usually expect at this time of the year in this un unbelievable, amazing city of Champaign and in the Midwest, the winter times. But I was thinking how exciting it is. This is a little sun. And why are we so excited at this sun? Why do we get so excited? And it helps me realize something very powerful. You see, in life, many times you don't appreciate something until we don't have it anymore. And when we do have it, after a while, if not, we're like, this is so special. Children actually see the beautiful thing in every day and in every matter. So for a son today, or being woken up a week ago, it's snowing. It's all about the excitement in every new opportunity and every new day. And that's really what takes us into life. You see, we are right now into the first week of the month of Adar. It says about the month of Adar, Adar marbim besimcha. When Adar enters, we double in our joy. We add in our joy. This is the Jewish month of joy. We always have to be joyous, but now there's extra joy. Joy is not always something that's easy to come by. This week is a year since Corona began. And many people are focusing on the struggle and the challenge that it brought us. But I've been hearing from many people telling me, you know, Rabbi, in this past year, my relationship with my spouse got so much better. In the past year, I actually spent much more time with my children than I would have otherwise. In the past year, it made me realize what's truly important. Many alumni share with me how they want to get serious about life now. Usually, people are just pushing life forward. We'll get there one day. So it's really all in the attitude. And with every struggle and every challenge, we have to see the blessing. The month of Adar reminds us that. Always be happy. As I mentioned so many times in the past, happiness in Hebrew is besimcha, in happiness, which are the same words as machshava, thoughts. It's all in our attitude. What's my thoughts towards my reality? So you may have had corona or having it. You may have a freezing day or a sunny day. Let's put our attitude and see what can I make out of every moment. And as we head towards the holiday of Purim, which is next week, which is a holiday which celebrates how everything that we expected in the negative turned into the positive. I give a blessing to each and every one of you that you should see out of every struggle just blessing. And the whole world, we should be able to look back at this year and say, ah, that was something we experienced, but just a blimp on our radar. So Shabbat Shalom, Happy Adar, and let's get those dancing shoes on to dance the joy away. Shabbat Shalom.